I'm Jill. And I'm Michelle. This is Mommy Quick and Easy. Jill and I are moms. We have two small kids. And so we are always looking for great, and easy things that we can do for our kids and with our kids so that we can be super moms. So today our project is going to be button art and uh, specifically some customized art for our home. This is something you can do with your kids or during a nap time and it's really fun. Okay, so the other day I made this K for my daughter Katie. Um, my plan is to put it on her door. She hasn't seen it yet, so um, I'm pretty excited about it. But what I love about button art is, first of all, buttons are really inexpensive. Second, you get to really play with texture and pattern and color. And third, it was so easy. So what I did here is this is just a piece of scrapbook paper. We all have too much scrapbook paper uh, left over. And so this was a great way to use that. And I got a bunch of buttons from, um, these buttons are actually from a website called Dick Blick. And uh, it was actually like three bucks for like 600 buttons. So here is my bag of buttons. I bought about three pounds. And I just kind of dug through them to get all the pinks and the reds for this particular project. But uh, today I'm going to do a J for my son Jack. And this one's gonna be a little bigger. I'm actually gonna put it on the wall in his bedroom. Both these projects, initially I thought I wanted to uh, stencil out the letter. So I had printed up what style of letter I wanted. Uh, this was the K. And I was going to stencil out, but actually with the buttons, it's so easy to just kind of form how you want it to be that you don't have to spend that extra step. So for my J, I went with something a little different than the K. And this is gonna be really easy too. First, I'm gonna take the bigger buttons and kind of form my letter, just in the most basic sort of way. And then I've got a bag of blue buttons that I pulled out of my mixed assortment. And I'm just gonna kind of put them around. And I'm just going to kind of keep referring back to the font that I wanted. So once you get the basics down, and you know you have enough buttons, you don't need to go grab any more. You can kind of backtrack a little bit and start applying. Now with my K on Katie, I had set it up like this and really liked how it looked. And then when I did it, I did it a little more flat, um, a little more structured. For my J, it's going to take me a little bit longer, but I'm going to use all these buttons and I'm going to just keep piling and piling and piling. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take myself back and start with my glue gun. All I've got to do is put the glue on my buttons, put them into place, and in about 15 minutes, I'll have those ready to go. Okay, so I have done my first layer and that has really set up the pattern for my letter. And now for the fun part, I'm just gonna throw the rest of my buttons kind of just here on top. And that's gonna give me a lot of texture. And I think it makes it look very much like a letter for a child's bedroom. Kids are messy and the artwork in their room can be messy too. So now I'm gonna finish this up, put the last few buttons on here, and later on tonight I'm gonna hang it up in Jack's room. Katie, yeah. you sort now? Yeah, I'm sort of Okay, Kendall, show me how you sort them too. What do you do? Yeah. Kendall, show me how you sort them. One goes to here. Another one goes right in here. Very good girl. Okay, so we have finished with our J for Jack. And um, this was really easy, really fun. I can't wait to put it up in his room. 
Um, a couple other ideas that you can do with button art. My friend Jessica made this really cute car. Uh, this was in her son's room. It's got a transportation theme. I thought this was adorable. And she also did a, a holiday theme. She wrote the word fall. So I thought that was pretty cute too. I'm completely addicted to this. It's so fun. It's so easy. My next project is going to be for the family room. Uh, a big D for our last name, Devlin. And I've uh, put burlap on the background. I'm going to put this together tonight. And when I get it done, I will show you the finished product. Good luck. It's really fun. It's really easy. And your kids will love doing it with you.